Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here to do September favorites. This year has gone by so fast. Okay, I have not taken care of my echo yet. Sorry. Um, I have a couple things to share this month. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. Okay, so for the base makeup um, primer, the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. Okay, so to me personally, this is just very moisturizing. Um, I got way too much on my hand. I wouldn't even put that much on my face. It just leaves the skin very moisturized. And it's affordable. The NYX Honey Do Me Up. Okay, and now my other favorite primer because I don't just like one. Um, it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So, normally I'll just like put this on and forget I'm about to sit down and do my makeup and then I'll spray this. That's how that works. So, um, I'm trying to switch it up and use different products so I'm not constantly telling you guys about the same stuff. Um, I do have some new stuff to try. So, I just gotta get to it. Okay, so again, favorite foundation is the Tarte um, Hydrating Foundation, the Shape Tape. And my shade is Medium Sand. So, part of why this is still my favorite, besides it's a really great foundation, is it is so hard to match my skin for some reason. It's hard before I go out into the sun, and of course I got uneven sun this summer. It's it's embarrassing, but to match my skin is super difficult. I have a lot of red in my skin throughout like my face, my neck, my chest, so usually like blending a foundation down, it tends to look too pale because my neck is bright red, so. I learned to just deal. There's not a whole lot of makeup to talk about this time because I don't want to keep talking about all the same stuff. To me, that's just, it's too repetitive, too boring. So, okay, so for blush, and this is one I've been picking up a lot this month, is my um, Makeup Geek Soulmate. Now, that color is so gorgeous. I have to be careful with it though because I did get sun, but I'm still pale. So to try and use something this dark and not being careful, I can quickly look like a clown. So there is a swatch of the blush. So now I have, I'm like trying to adjust my setup because I realized while editing a lot of the stuff I was trying to show you guys is completely washed out by my light. So hopefully this is better. I don't know. But again, this is the Makeup Geek Blush in Soulmate. Okay, now um, I haven't picked up a new bronzer, so I don't see a point in bringing the old one out. Um, but for my highlight, now I did switch it up. The Too Faced Candlelight Glow in Rosy Glow. It's very subtle, very natural. I really do like this um, highlighter. And what I like is you can use one side which is like the white side and you get like this champagne type color and there's the pink side where you get like this very faint pink highlight or you can just mix them together and just get like a natural type highlight my descriptions really suck you guys I'm so sorry and the mascara so, the Maybelline, the Falsies Push-Up Drama. Okay. So, it's got like a fat, spiky wand. And it really gets up to like your waterline. Your, your, your lash line up there. And you can just separate the lashes, really coat them good. So, it's definitely... A good drugstore mascara. 
Okay, so moving into skincare and in no specific order, and I still attempt to put it in an order. Okay, so to remove my eye makeup, specifically just my eye makeup, I've really been liking this Lancome Bifacial Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. I don't remember if this was from Ulta or Sephora, if I got it because I bought something else and it was like a gift with purchase or if it was like a deluxe sample I got from Sephora using a code from my email. I'm not really sure where I got it from, but this is very, very good. It doesn't take much and it breaks down my mascara so good. On this eye, I, I noticed that my lashes right here in the front, some of them are so much shorter than the rest of my lashes. I don't know what happened. So, I try and be very gentle with my lashes, and it should always be gentle around your eyes to begin with, but all right. Okay, for an exfoliator, the uh, Bosha Subaki Oil Infused Exfoliating Powder. Okay, so it is water activated and can be so messy. Okay, so as you see, it is just like a powder. And what you do is you take more than this, and you got it in your hand, and you get a little bit of water, and get it, get it like a little paste, and then you rub it in, and it feels very nice. It leaves my skin feeling very smooth. It's not like a harsh um, exfoliant, but <sighs> good exfoliant. Um, and I've noticed that when I don't exfoliate, it's very noticeable that I have not. So, definitely like that. Okay, I don't remember why I put this down. I don't know if it was to try something different or what, but it's the Neutrogena Ultralight Cleansing Oil. It smells amazing. I just take two squirts in my hand, or my hands together, smear it all over my face. After I take my Lancome Bifacial Eye Makeup Remover, and break down my mascara. I take that and you just like rub all over, get a little bit of water in your hands, rub it, gets milky, rinse it off. Doesn't leave your skin oily, there's no weird residue, and it truly, truly, truly gets so much makeup off. It's, I love it. It's amazing. I'm actually almost out. My speaker shut off. I'm almost out. It's the Eliza Becca. Milky Piggy Help or Clean Up Mask. Now, I do not put this over my entire face. It just goes nose, cheeks, here. That's it. Because it is so brutal. It grabs all the little hairs and it rips, so it's just unnecessary pain. I like it, just in certain areas. For sheet masks, the Leaders in Solution Daily Wonders Break Up With Your X Skin Cells. It is an exfoliating mask. I don't notice any exfoliation. I do notice my skin is more moisturized and I like the way that it feels on my face. So, shout out to this guy for this month. And the other one is my Tony Moly I'm Real Red Wine Mask Sheet. And it's a pore care. Again, very moisturizing. Nice, calm, relax. Candles, sheet mask. It's like a getaway without getting up and going anywhere. Okay, so my Drunk Elephant TLC Frame Boost Glycolic Night Serum to refine and regenerate. Now, I've had a love-hate relationship with this. Some months I love it, some months I hate it. This last month, I've been liking it. So, after like exfoliating and everything, I take this, I put it on, you feel it doing something. It's like a little prickle. I don't know, I like it. This month, like this month. So, that'll pop up top, um, shake it really good, rub it in, and then follow up with any serums or anything like that. 
Okay, now this, I don't necessarily use before or after makeup. I just spray it on when I feel like spraying it, and it's the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And I love the smell. I don't, I don't love, like, rose-scented things. I don't, but this, it smells so nice. Like, it's great for your skin. I spray it everywhere. I don't care. Okay, to keep my skin moisturized as it's drying up, the Peter Thomas Raw uh, Water Drenched Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. That's what it's called. <sighs> Brand spanking new. But, let me tell you about this stuff. Okay, so, alright, so this moisturizer, right, when you first put it on, it's got like a... Right, when you first put it on, it's got like this very silky, smooth feel to it. And as you rub it in, the feel of any product is gone. So what you're left with is just like smooth skin. And it's like super soft, super smooth. So I have used it before my makeup, but this is not... I put this on at night. I don't put it on in the morning. There's no specific reason why. This is just not my morning moisturizer. Okay. My Tony Moly Egg Pore Tightening Cooling Pack. This stuff looks so disturbing. I try and keep that little top on. I lost it off of my last one and it, there was a little left and it dried out. To me, this stuff just smells weird. It's like putty. But not when you get it out and try and put it on. It doesn't feel like putty anymore. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see this. This is like what it looks like. So when you put it on and you're like trying to put it on your face, it's not like a smear in normal type of thing. You gotta like really get it on there. It crumbles, it falls off. It can be really messy. So I work with a little at a time and as it dries and everything, it just kind of like tightens the skin up. It feels really nice. Um, I haven't noticed any like long-term effects from it. But it's definitely nice. I love it. I repurchased. Okay, something I feel like I haven't talked about in a minute. The Roto Hydra Eye Drops. <sighs> I cannot use these when I'm using my contacts. Like when I have my contacts in. But they are very cooling. You put them in and instantly like your eyeball gets super cold. So there's menthol in them, which is where you get the cooling sensation from. Very moisturizing. I just drop them in in the morning and I'm good to go. I don't have to like keep dropping them in. They're, they're super lubricating and like, I don't know. And I, I want to buy some more. Keep some in my truck and I just have them in my office. And for when I do have my contacts in, the Blink and Clean Lens Drops. So, thankfully, my eyes don't get that dry when I have my contacts in, but just in case, I, I have some in my office, I have some in my purse, I have some in my truck. So, yeah. Okay, now moving on. For my hair, I've been using this for a long time. It's the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care. It says new, it's totally not new now. Uh, triple Resist Ultimate Strength Solution. Um... It's up to three times stronger, more resistant hair. Um, so my hair got really, really, really damaged and I thought that this was gonna help. Now, I can't say it didn't help, but I can't say that it did help either. I can just tell you that using it, I did notice that my hair did seem to get a little stronger over time, which could have just been cutting it off and being able to restore itself a little bit, the vitamins I was taking, using this, taking better care of my hair, hot oil treatments, and so on and so forth. Next, another item to kind of go along with that, but this is a little better in my opinion. It's the uh, Tresemme Expert Keratin Smooth uh, five, ben five Benefits One System with Marula Oil. So it's supposed to like control frizz, add some shine to your hair, make your hair soft, manageable, uh, detangles, everything. Okay, so I just take one squirt and I 
rub my hands together and I try and just keep it in the bottom parts of my hair because oils will weigh my hair down. Um, my hair is it's super moody, super sensitive. It's just doesn't like stuff. Okay, so I was so afraid to try this stuff. I was afraid it was going to leave my hair greasy. Um, so I used it a couple times and it seemed to be alright. Well, I told, I need to color my hair. Just, that's obvious. Um, I'm deciding if I want to stick with the color I've been using or do something different. So, um, with this, what I do is I just put a little tiny, like, pea-sized amount in my hand, rub my hands together after I use this. And I try to keep it just, like, up here in the back, like, around the crown, I guess, in the back. Not the front or the right here on the side. It's just back here. Um, and I blow dry. And it's just for a little added body. But since my hair is growing out now, I don't really think it matters. Um, I decided I'm not going to cut my hair again. I'm going to let it grow. And get it trimmed. And figure it out. Okay, now this thing here. I had totally forgot that I had this. And I was cleaning out a drawer. I was like, oh yeah. I left over the summer, and when I came back, I guess I just forgot everything I had. It's just my Revlon um, hot brush. So the sides, all of it stays cool to the touch. Um, in here, it's hot. And what I love about it is when I'm doing this, like I can do this, and it doesn't burn my hands. Um, very easy on the hair. I love this. This is a great brush. There was a point where this didn't totally straighten my hair because my hair was just too honory, I guess. Um, but my hair has gotten a little better, a little healthier, so it works better than I remember it working before, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, for like body scents, fragrances, my Theory Muggler I thought I was wrong about the name. Never mind. Angel. Um, I love it. I got mine in the refillable one. I'm afraid to pop that off, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I love the smell. It's like a... Kind of spicy. You're just going to have to smell it. I suck at describing fragrances. So, it's Angel. It's amazing. A lot of people do not prefer Angel. They like Alien better. I like them both. I actually own both. But this month I've just been loving Angel. Aside from how adorable the bottle is. The smell. <sighs> okay. Another scent for this month has been my Michael Kors Wonderlust. To me these are just like grown up smells. Not sweet and fruity. Like just very adult. Okay. For washing my hair. Um... <laughs> Because I haven't decided what I'm doing with the color. I've just been using... Now, this is like my favorite shampoo and conditioner like of all time. And it's the Garnier Fructis Full and Plush. Um, it's got pomegranate in it. It's for flat, thin, limp. I don't do anything hair, kind of. This. Problem I have with it is with my hair color that I use, which... It's like the hardest color to keep. So, I've got to be careful. I do not use color depositing shampoo and conditioner. So, I just, I'm very cautious when I wash my hair. And this does not take care of my color at all. So, it's totally not, not good for that. But aside from that, it makes your hair super soft. And it smells super amazing. And the smell stays in your hair forever. Or I don't know if it's forever or not, honestly, because I don't go that long without washing my hair. But it definitely stays, the smell stays in your hair from wash to the next wash. Okay. It's not often I get in the tub and take a bath and relax. Definitely not as often as I would like to do it. But when I do, oh, it's so relaxing and so amazing. And the bubble bath that I prefer to use is the Calgon Ageless Bath. It's a nourishing milk bath with vitamin E, collagen, and pearl power. There's like these little vita pearls in there. And the smell. Okay. 
I suck at explaining fragrances, but this has like a a fruity kind of like Kool-Aid, like the Kool-Aid powder itself. I don't know what flavor, but anyways, it smells really, really, really good. It's very moisturizing. Um, I love it in my bath. Love it in my bath. And my boyfriend bought it for me. He went away for the weekend. And I want to take a bath, so he got it for me. He's so sweet. Okay. I don't think I've talked about this for a minute. And it is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. Okay, is it Lychee? 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 Whatever. It's this L-Y-C-H-E-E -E in Plum. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to figure out how you say this word. So according to Google, the American way to say this is lychee. Kind of what I've been saying. And the British way is lychee. So I personally like lychee better. So lychee and plum. Okay, now let's get back to this. The smell. It's so intoxicating. It's just, you smell plum. But apparently this lychee is like an amazing smell because I think that is what most of the smell is. Oh my God, what if a day comes where I forget to edit out my crazy things that I do? Oh, that would be so embarrassing. Okay, guys, I gotta stop smelling this. It smells so freaking good. Okay, now, on the trip to Chicago way back when, um, we stopped to grab some stuff, and I picked up this um, Brazilian Glam, Brazil Nut, and Maracuja body scrub. Okay, it's bright blue. It smells really good. And I use, like, I alternate between this. I use this twice a week and this once a week. Because I think this is a better scrub, like a deep scrub. As to where this is just kind of like, you know, a nice, soft, gentle scrub. Okay, and now this Body Clear Body Wash Pink Grapefruit. Um, so... It is for body breakouts, and I had never had a problem where I had, like, any breakouts on my chest or my back or my arms or anything like that. I really never had many on my face, but something happened over the summer, and as the summer is coming to a close, it's like, parts of my back, I just get, like, they're little bumps. They're not necessarily pimples, and I can't really see my back to actually, like, See them? So I just got this and I definitely like the smell, the pink grapefruit smell. It's not strong. I like the bubbles that I get from the body wash, but I haven't really noticed like uh, hope with these bumps. Okay, and now for moisturizing my body. The Soap and Glory um, Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Milk. It's not like a super, super thick lotion, but it's not like watery thin either. So, it's very moisturizing. I love the smell. The smell is like a... It's almost like a sugar cookie type smell. It's, I don't know, that's what I smell. But it's very nice. Very moisturizing. It's not greasy. Um, very nice moisturizer. And last but not least, now, this has gotten so much love from me. I know other people have got to love this stuff. It is the Ulta Beauty Buttercream Cupcake Body Sorbet. Now, buttercream cupcake is the scent. Okay, but it's just their body sorbet. And I'm, a, I think, more than half done with this this stuff oh my gosh the smell alone is like a buttercream definitely a buttercream like frosting I don't smell a cupcake but definitely buttercream and if you like the smell of buttercream you're gonna want to eat it all day you put this on super moisturizing 
it is very thick. It gets into the skin. It's not oily. I personally love it specifically for my feet because my feet can get very, very dry and then they like, they feel funny to me. So it's like when I feel that they're dry, I gotta put something on them. So this keeps them very moisturized. I love it. And yeah, I put it everywhere, but specifically it's great for my feet. Okay. And totally random. This is the last thing I have to talk about. And it's literally my last one. So the um, Starbucks Classic Hot Cocoa K-Cup Packs, right? These things are so amazing. This is my last one. And I'm going to make it as soon as I'm done with this. Um, I don't, I think I got it from Wire. Um, I see them all the time in grocery stores, but I actually picked up the hot cocoa and I love it. Um, yes, I have other ones, but this is definitely my favorite and has been like all month. This is actually my second one. So, 20 of them gone. So, yeah, if you guys stuck around through this whole entire video, you deserve a thumbs up. Thank you guys very, very much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you have not yet already, hit subscribe. Click the bell so you get notified when I do post videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.